definitely keep the show going because uh, y'all are a great audience and it's been a great lineup. So without further ado, you guys, please, with arms wide open, welcome your next performer to the stage, Mr. Tim Tapp. <laughs> Uh, my name is Tim Tapp, and thank you for coming to my graduation ceremony. It's kind of a big night for me. Um, for those of you that know me kind of well, this is the closest to graduating I'm going to get for quite some time. Um, four years of my two-year degree. Woo! Um, but no, uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. Uh, college has been a really interesting road, a very slow, uphill climb. Um, Started early, actually, in high school, did one of those like joint enrollment things, a um, couple college classes in the morning before regular class, and I loved it because we had this huge break in the middle between the college classes and like the regular high school classes, and it was independent study time. Uh, it was nap time, which was <laughs> awesome. I had nap time four days a week. It was like it was in kindergarten again. And so started out early, and it's kind of like, you know when you get in those relationships when you're younger and you're dating like an older woman, an older man, and they kind of show you the world for the first time and like take you to some really fancy restaurant and you can't even like read the menu or much less pronounce it and like they order for you and you're like, sweet, this is awesome. And you know, you break up a couple years later because it doesn't ever work out because um, you get older and they don't want you anymore. But so you're like, I'm gonna go back to this restaurant because I loved what I had last time. I don't know what the hell it was called. And you order like the nastiest shit on the menu. It's like a Bull testicles larange. <laughs> this isn't what I wanted. Um, and then you can't even pay for it afterwards, which is insult to injury. And so that's kind of what college has been, a really hard time picking a major. And everyone gives you advice, you know, I chose, pick something that you love to do. What can you see yourself doing for the rest of your life? So I kind of was like, all right, what, what are my hobbies? And I don't have a diversified interest group. I like watching television, um, playing video games, and I really like drinking. So started with television, and I was like, all right, what can I do with this? And I'm like, what shows do I just love, love to watch? And I love watching like forensic crime dramas, uh, like SVU, Law and Order, uh, CSI, Bones. And you know like the feeling that you get when you watch those shows? Like you're sitting on your couch, and you have like a big thing of potato chips or, you know, beer, and you're watching and like you're actually like feel like you're helping the FBI solve like this like genocidal homicide and but in an hour because you're that good. And I'm like, it took you guys like two years, fuck that. I got this down. And so you're going through and it's awesome, but then like you actually look at the job and they don't show you that there's some guy getting paid like twenty thousand a year that's inside of a dumpster for two weeks, digging for forensic evidence. And like that's I don't I don't wanna do that because garbage is nasty. <laughs> so I was like, all right. Obviously, TV's not gonna give me any good leads. So I looked at video games and play a lot of like computer video games and it's like, all right, so what do I do in video games? And I was like, you know what? The War on Terror is not quite as exciting as Warcraft. <laughs> um, and like killing someone with like an AK-47, not as cool as like your arcane missile spell or like, you know, some cool sword that you get. <laughs> Uh, so video games didn't work out. So then I was like, all right, obviously drinking. You know, stick to what you're good at and play to your strengths. So um, I decided to take a minor in whiskey and uh, I'm majoring in dark rums, which has turned out really well. Love the curriculum. Um, however, not so good on the job market with that, as it turns out, in this economy. So everyone's, you know, graduating, all my friends, all these really awesome jobs. And so, all right, well, I have to do something because this isn't working out. And uh, I really wish this had been the poster that I saw before I started working. Uh, you know, do you want to hate your life? Uh, do you never want to enjoy holidays again? And lose absolutely all your faith in humanity? Then you should work retail. And it has been a whirlwind. I, the dizzying heights that I have reached in retail. So I work with electronics in retail. So. Apparently people don't know a whole lot about electronics, as it turns out, which I would get if it was like 1997 and the hamster dance was like revolutionary internet technology <laughs> with that one picture that spins around with the MIDI file. 
Uh, or those emails were like, oh, I didn't know it wasn't a coffee holder. It's from my CDs. That's crazy. <laughs> But it's 2011, like we have handheld computers basically and everything's HD and digital and three-dimensional and connected and all this stuff. And you people come in like, where are your VCRs at? Or do you have any of them like disc man so I can listen to my music on the go? I think you want an iPod? No, no, I think you actually want to go to Walmart down the street. Um, the Goodwill, I'm not sure. And. But no, people are just ridiculous, and people are mean. Like, I think cause if they don't know it, and they just take it out on you. And I've decided that if, you know, retail is probably not gonna work out in the long run. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna start my own consulting business, and I'm gonna do like a suicide prevention, but instead of being a hotline, <laughs> I'm just gonna go to retail stores. And they'll be like, hey, thanks for shopping with us. How can I help you? No, 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 how can I help you? How much longer do you think you're gonna make it? And I think it'll actually have a really good success rate um, and become part of like employee benefits packages in the future. So don't steal it, I'm patenting this idea. Um, but no, so people like bring in their computers and my favorites will come in and they, it's always the people that have done something to whatever they're trying to bring back or get fixed, but act like it's your fault. Like, what the fuck kind of piece of shit did you sell me? Like, I don't, why isn't this working? And so, you know, you'll open up like their computer and you're looking at it and you're going through and looking at like, you know, there's your download history and your internet browser. And it's all like Xtube and Pornhub and <laughs> apparently I work in the adult entertainment industry on the side in retail, which I don't quite get. And so you try to do like, they're really polite, all right, well, let's look through this and I'll try to like lean in really close to them because you don't want to like shout and like I want to but I can't shout and embarrass them in front of the rest of the customers. And so I'll be leaning in and I'll do like my little like pose and smile. And, all right, let's look through your internet history together and while I'm seeing that you have um, you know, all these movies downloaded and this file and here's your internet history and I think about here is your problem um, in this general vicinity. I don't think it's the computer. And they turn like red and they're like, oh, that's, that's not me, that was, must have been like, you know, my child. And I would get if, you know, they're like, like a 13, 14 year old like son or, but I'm looking at like their four year old daughter and I'm like, I don't think she was looking at gangbang porn. I don't, I don't know. Um, and the people you'd never expect. Uh, this lady, she was like, you know, like in her late 40s, like someone's mother um, up in the suburbs, a very rich, well-to-do, comes in and she's like, hi, I'm looking for a computer. Like, All right, you know, what do you want? She's like, I want a big screen for porn. <laughs> All right, well, this one has a 20-inch monitor. Is that big enough? Or do you want like the 12-inch size? I don't know. Um, <laughs> But, and the whole time, like, she's talking to me, but she's eyeing the other guy working, and I'm like, so here's your computer, and here's his phone number, you should call him later. Um, make your own videos and watch it on your screen, it'll be fantastic. And my favorite was one guy brought in a desktop tower, brings it in, and slams it down on the counter, and is just screaming, and like, even like customers on the other side of the store are like, what the hell's going on? And so we plug it in, we have this big monitor on the wall and it's facing all the people in line, about probably 10 people, it's like Saturday afternoon. Plug it in and turn it on without even clicking on anything. Just pop-ups everywhere. <laughs> and not even like normal stuff, it's like pregnant women porn and like bestiality porn and like midget orgies over here. <laughs> and the guy literally just stopped talking and just walked out of the store. <laughs> like, didn't say a word. And I was excited because A, got what was coming to him, but more importantly, I now had a computer preloaded with all kinds of free porn. <laughs> it was a win-win for both. You guys have been awesome. Thank you very much. My name is Tim Tapp. <laughs> Keep it going for Tim Tapp, everybody.